What's up everybody, Takedown here, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm sharing with you my thoughts and predictions on this year's Hell in a Cell. It is only one week away, they only have six matches confirmed, so in my opinion it's not a full Hell in a Cell yet. It does look a little bit weak, but this following Raw and SmackDown, hopefully they add something up to the mix to make it really special. But let's share what they have so far. And at the end of this video, if they add anything, I will put it on cards. Just announcing who I predict is going to win there. So up first is a SmackDown Women's Champion Charlotte Flair versus Becky Lynch. As I've stated before, I'm not a fan of Charlotte. Never have been. Probably never will be. I do not like her in the WWE. I'm not a fan at all. And Becky Lynch, I think she needs some more opportunities in the WWE. And I'm not sure if this is an, a Hell in a Cell match. It doesn't specify, but if it is, my money is on Becky Lynch. I think with how she is now, with as aggressive as she is now, I think in a Hell in a Cell match, she will come out on top. That is my final prediction. Next up is Jeff Hardy versus Randy Orton. This one actually specifies it is going to be in a Hell in a Cell match. It looks like it's going to be pretty interesting. Randy Orton is heel right now, which I'm not 100% a fan of. I am always a fan of Jeff Hardy, always have been, always will be. He is my childhood star, he's one of my favorites of all time. In Hell in a Cell, I think Jeff Hardy had a few Hell in a Cells. I might be wrong on that. Well, I probably am wrong on that. But I think it'd be pretty interesting to see him do a swanton off of the Hell in a Cell. I don't think Jeff Hardy has ever done that. And that is something extreme that I personally would love to get the chance to see. So if that does happen, my money is on Jeff Hardy. That is my final prediction for this match. <clears throat> Next up is the Raw Women's Champion, Ronda Rousey versus Alexa Bliss. I've already said I'm a huge fan of Alexa Bliss. I really wish she retained the championship and she didn't lose it like she did. But Ronda Rousey is the champion now, and I think she's going to hold it for a long time. Not as long as Brock Lesnar did, but I think she's going to hold it for quite a while. So... For this match, my money is on Ronda Rousey. Unless Alexa Bliss has something up her sleeve, I just don't think she's going to come out on top of this match. Next up is Daniel Bryan and Brie Bella, who returned recently against The Miz and Maurice. Now, if it was any other kind of match, I would pick The Miz over Daniel Bryan. But the fact that Brie Bella has returned, I think Brie Bella is over Maurice right now. And I think she always have been in a way, but... I'm going to have to give it to Daniel Bryan and Brie Bella. I really am a huge fan of The Miz. It saddens me to say this, but I think Daniel, Br Daniel and Brie Bella are going to win. That's just my final prediction right here. Next up is the Universal Championship match in a Hell in a Cell. Roman Reigns versus Braun Strowman. Braun Strowman is Mr. Money in the Bank. So, in theory, how I see this match laying out is I think Roman Reigns is going to win the match. And on his way to leave, I think Braun Strowman is going to cash in the briefcase and he's going to win it. That's just my theory. That is something I see happening. That is something interesting that I see could possibly happen. And I really kind of hope it does. That would be something really special. Never before seen where Mr. Money in the Bank just lost the championship match and then cashes in and wins it. So I think that'd be pretty cool. And last up. The last match they have confirmed as of right now is WWE Champion AJ Styles versus Samoa Joe. Like I said, I really wanted to see AJ Styles versus Jeff Hardy for the WWE Championship. That is a dream match in my opinion. I really want to see in the WWE. But since it's kind of going on for a long time now, and I don't think it's actually going to happen soon, I think Samoa Joe is going to win the WWE Championship. I'd love AJ Styles to keep it and retain it for a while. But in a Hell in a Cell, it doesn't specify it's a Hell in a Cell match. But I'm assuming it's going to be, and this would be a very interesting way for Samoa Joe to win. Honestly, I will say my final prediction is Samoa Joe. Not that that is something I really want to see. That is just something I see happening. It's not that I want it to happen. I just see it's going to happen. So these are my predictions as of right now with the match card. I have it all in front of me on WWE.com. And this is all they've announced so far. So if they add anything after this video, after I've already finished doing this video, I'll leave it in the description below or I'll have it at the end of the video in match cards. So I hope you guys did enjoy. Comment down below who you think is going to win out of these matches. Do you have the same predictions as me? Are yours different? What would you like to see happen at Hell in a Cell? 
let me know down in the comments and I will leave this video here. Hope you guys did enjoy and I'll see you guys in the next one. Please take care. Peace.